So as you guys can see, we have got a lot of new modifications for my Tacoma today. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to give a huge, huge thank you to Cali Race LED for working with me today because I have been wanting full skid plates for my third gen Tacoma for so, so long now. And Cali Race LED offers them, which is so, so awesome. And also if you're a Tacoma owner like me, you should definitely check out their website. They've got all sorts of armor for your Tacoma, lighting accessories, all of that good stuff and they're even offering you guys a discount so if you want a 5% discount off of anything on their website you can use my code up here on the screen so I'm super excited about today's install again I've been dreaming of the day where I can put more skid plates on my truck so let's get into it So today on my Tacoma, we're gonna be installing three different skid plates. So we've got the transfer case skid plate, lower control arm skids, and the gas tank skid. Let's quickly talk about all of them, starting with the transfer case skid plate. So one really cool thing about Cali Ray's LED is that they offer most of their skid plates in either steel or aluminum. Now steel is obviously stronger, but aluminum is lighter. So I opted to go aluminum for most of mine. And for my transfer case skid, which is obviously only gonna be applicable if you have a four wheel drive truck, I have a magnet over here. I opted for aluminum. But this cross piece that it comes with right here is steel. I believe the lower control arm skids are only offered in steel. But for the gas tank skid, you have a choice and I went with aluminum. So for all of my pieces that are aluminum, I measured the thickness and it's a half inch thick piece of aluminum. And all these steel pieces are 3 16 inch thick. You can also go with the powder coated or non powder coated option. Obviously I went with the black powder coat. It came out really nice. As far as I could see, there are no dings. I'm always kind of skeptical about shipping things powder coated because of the scratches you might get. Typically I'm someone who opts for getting something raw and then getting it powder coated myself, even though that might be a little bit more expensive. But I will say that every accessory I've gotten from Cali Ray's LED, including my bed stiffeners, which I have on my truck right now, that have all been powder coated from them have come out scratch free and just perfect. The reason I got these in the first place really comes down to cheap insurance. For someone like me who goes wheeling in their truck as a hobby, this is just extra protection that I'd like to have. Additionally, I know these are gonna be easy to install, which also means they're gonna be easy to uninstall if I ever have to. And the reason I care about that is because of maintenance. So if I ever need to remove one of these skid plates to do maintenance, it'll be pretty easy to do so. I did watch a lot of Cali Ray's LEDs videos on their YouTube channel where they go over their full skid plate set just before I decided to go with these because obviously I wanted to do my research and something I really like about them and actually kind of a quote from Blake in one of their videos was that you could get as mild or wild as you like with these, which basically means that all of these are designed to fit individually, but also work really cohesively well together. Even though we're just installing three of their skid plates today, they've got a front skid plate, transmission skid plate, and I believe also lower rear shock skid plates. All of those fit really well together like Lego pieces if you're looking for a complete set, or you could be like me and get kind of individual pieces. Okay, anyways, I'm sure you guys are here to see the install, so let's start with that right now. All you have to do is take a look at my front TRD skid to understand why I'm really doing this install. And this is just the front part. I remember where I got this one in. It was on the Broken Arrow Trail in Sedona. <laughs> Even though I'm someone who doesn't off-road like super regularly, maybe twice a month if I get the chance, for the times I do, these skid plates are gonna be totally worth it. Alright, 
so I already installed the skid plate on the other lower control arm and now I'm onto this one. I cleaned it up as best I could, but obviously this scratch is here to remain, so whatever. But step one is to remove these plastic clips. There's two, there's one right here, and then the other one is back here. These plastic clips are like the worst to get off, I swear. And you guys, if there was a career about breaking plastic Toyota clips, I would be like the vice president, no, CEO of breaking these stupid clips. The good thing is that we don't actually need these plastic clips anymore, or these covers. So it isn't a huge deal if you actually break them. Okay, now the hard part's over. The next step is to position the lower control arm skid onto the arm. Then take the shorter of your two 3 8 inch bolts and feed that through the front hole. Add your washer and nylock nut. Then take the longer of the two 3 8 inch bolts and that one is going to go in the hole towards the back of the truck. Then add your washer and nylock nut. Next with my 7 16 inch bolt and washer, I'm going to take the provided metal spacer and place it between the skid and lower control arm. And then I'm going to use that bolt and feed it through the hole closest to the wheel and tire and through that spacer. Then I'm going to add my washer and nylock nut. So now we just need to tighten down our three bolts. The only downside to me removing my OEM gas tank skid, which is just this plastic piece, is I guess I'm gonna lose my GoPro mount. Luckily, that isn't a big deal at all though. So the OEM gas tank skid is literally just held in by four 12 millimeter bolts. So once you remove those, the skid is off. Now I'm sure a lot of people would opt for steel rather than aluminum, but I guess for the sake of installing this, I'm really glad I went with aluminum. And of course you can use a jack, but as you can see, I'm just using my legs. And believe it or not, that's all there is to the gas tank skid. What I like about this gas tank skid is it has lots of holes in it, which not only reduces weight, but it also allows debris and stuff to not get trapped between the skid plate and bottom of the gas tank. So that is nice. Now I'm gonna install our last skid plate, which is our transfer case skid plate. So that comes in two pieces, and first we're gonna install the cross member. To do that, I'm gonna first remove this 12 millimeter bolt on the driver's side. Then I'm gonna remove these two sticker pieces, which I can do with a flat head. I'm also going to remove this 12 millimeter bolt and that will allow us to remove this plastic cover piece so we can thread our bolt through these holes. Now I'm going to lift our crossbar up and line up the holes with where we took out the bolts. And then I'm going to temporarily put that 12 millimeter bolt in. I'm not going to tighten it all the way on the driver's side just so we can hold this in place. And then you can see on the other side, 
We can line up the piece with the hole over there and we're gonna put our new bolt through there. It's sort of like the last skid plate, my knee is just supporting the crossbar until I have it fully tightened down. Now before we install our transfer case skid plate, we're gonna remove this crossbar piece. So these are each just four 12 millimeter bolts and there's one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. Okay, so now I'm going to line up this skid plate. It's super light because it's aluminum again. And I'm gonna add a carriage bolt and washer and nut. And there's gonna be three of these. And then I'm gonna use my three quarter inch socket to tighten everything down. So now they give you these top plates, which you're supposed to put over the skid plate. And then we use our longage carriage bolts to mount this side of the skid plate on and secure it with a nut, washer, and our top plate. And then we just do the same thing on the other side and then tighten down all of our bolts. So the last step is going to be to reinstall the crossbar piece. Now I already did the passenger side, so now I'm going to do the driver's side. You guys, I am so stoked that my truck is more armored up. I'm definitely ready to hit the trails again. If any of you out there also have full skid plates on your Tacoma, let me know which ones you have down in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Thanks so much again to Cali Ray's LED for working with me in today's video. It was definitely a fun one. And again, use my discount code to get 5% off of anything on their website. If you want to connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is at Chloe Kuo Taco. I post more in real time on there. But other than that, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.